What are the characteristics of ideal op amp? Characteristics of an ideal op amp Infinite voltage gain An ideal op amp will have infinite voltage gain. Op amps are devices that many times are used to function as amplifiers. A voltage is input into the op amp and as output. It produces the voltage amplified. An ideal op amp will produce mega gain. Practically, it will be able to produce infinite gain. It will amplify the signal infinite times over so that we can have as much gain as we would ever need. Infinitely high input impedance. An ideal op amp will have infinitely high input impedance. This will ensure that the op amp causes no loading in the circuit. The lower the input impedance, the more current that an op amp will draw. The higher the impedance, the lower the current that an op amp will draw. We want high input impedance so that the op amp doesn't disturb the original circuit by pulling current from it. To do this, we need infinitely high input impedance. Zero output impedance. An ideal op amp will have zero output impedance. When an op amp produces its output signal, we want the op amp to have zero voltage so that the maximum voltage will be transferred to the output load. Voltage is divided in a circuit according to the amount of impedance present in a circuit. Voltage drops across a component of higher impedance. In order for the voltage to drop across the output load, that load must be of greater impedance than the output of the op amp. Ideally, we want the output impedance of the op amp to be zero. Gain independent of frequency. In an ideal op amp, the gain that the op amp produces will be independent of frequency. This means that regardless of the frequency of the input signal going into the op amp, the gain that is produced will be constant and good across all frequencies. Zero input voltage offset. In an ideal op amp, if no voltage is applied to the inverting and non-inverting input pins, the op amp will output a voltage of zero, since there is no difference at all of the voltage applied to the two input pins. Positive and negative voltage swings to supply rails. In an ideal op amp, the AC voltage which is fed into the op amp to be applied will swing all the way up for the DC positive supply rail and all the way down for the DC negative supply rail, making 100% efficient use of the DC voltage supplied to an op amp. Output swings instantly to the correct value. In an ideal op amp, the output will swing instantly to the amplified voltage value. There will be no time delay between the time the voltage is input into the op amp till the time it is output. It will all be instantaneous.